It starts with the youngest students in the Early Childhood Center, or ECC. The district searched worldwide for the best methods of preschool teaching and found the Italian Reggio Emilia model. At the ECC, children build their understandings by asking questions, exploring and creating with a variety of media. They learn their ideas are important and that rethinking and revising improves their work. There's also a lot of personalized attention for each student. And so students are sort of pushed at their own pace. Students continue this hands-on learning approach at the elementary level, where the building serves as both a school and a museum. Here, students learn to think like docents and curators as they create exhibits, capturing important elements of their learning in science, social studies, and mathematics. Students build sophisticated research, reading and writing skills, and learn the importance of collaboration. It's like you and grown-ups learn. Like when you're learning and putting up the museum, you learn, and then on opening night, the grown-ups learn. As students enter middle school, the walls of the classroom fall away, and students' learning becomes an expedition. Students spend a good share of their class time in the community and out in the broader world. Reading and writing support these expeditions, and learning becomes increasingly interdisciplinary. Well, I thought it was pretty fun to go and be away from home and learn about a different part of the world. Well, I thought it was also really fun to just get out there and I enjoyed the eight mile hike a whole bunch. Once in high school, the four cornerstones of the district mission assume center stage, developing in students the skills to assume the roles of leaders, scholars, stewards, and citizens. Inside the classroom, students are engaged in a rigorous yet personalized academic program, while outside the classroom, they participate in internship and apprenticeship opportunities, ranging from math tutoring and technology assistance to student government and community volunteerism. It's an environment that fosters success in school and beyond. To figure out who they are and, and what they hope to do in the future, figuring out the personality, figuring out their talents.